everybody welcome back to the Jeep journals and today is day seven of my seven day vegan challenge and today I woke up and had a normal day and uh, wanted to prioritize checking in in terms of my weight because that's one of the most I guess measurable successes when you're on the path to health and Today I weighed 116.6 kilos, uh, down from the original 118.2. I think I mentioned it as 118.3 a couple of times in my early segments. Uh, but in backtracking and looking at what I actually wrote down, I had weighed 118.2 kilos. And again, um, today I am 116.6, and this is on day seven of my seven day vegan challenge. Well, what does that equate to in terms of numbers that we can relate to here in the States. That's about three and a half pounds, which is quite impressive, which is also very similar to the experiences that I've had in the past when I completed the vegan challenge repeatedly. Um, with that being said, if anyone is looking to lose weight in a pretty successful way, in a long lasting way that can be repeated, measured, quantified and that can help sharpen your mental acuity and your physique at the same time, the vegan challenge is probably the number one way to weigh in and be happier as you're doing it. For me, I wanted to switch it up and I changed the measurement to kilos. That way I didn't have to know exactly what was going on and also so I could learn something new. And it gave me something to uh, kind of treat as a game. You know, some people take all of this very seriously and the reality is we're all just kids of varying ages, children of varying ages. And in today's world, uh, the easiest way for me to change things up is to just change the numbers that I thought that I was familiar with into something that almost seemed unfamiliar, but was really still the same thing in the long run. Fact is, if we want to regain our health, it all starts with what we put into our hands and into our bodies. And all of that is generally controlled by ourselves unless we're having someone else administer our feeding, which in some cases is actually the case. So in, in a lot of ways, what I'd like to do is encourage you to take the power to take control of your own health while you've got the power to do so. And that's why I'm kicking off this segment again and telling you in the first seven days how successful this journey was. And I hope to be giving weekly updates as far as how strongly I've finished um, with this challenge. Going forward, I wanna tell you, there are some things that I want to include that are not 100% vegan. Like for an example, chocolate uses milk and dairy products and so i do happen to have a an amount of chocolate that i'm going to be enjoying um, fortune cookies are made with egg from what i've researched and sometimes those are given out at different places where um, we happen to have some of those and so i'm going to be enjoying those starting tomorrow um, however in my early journey when i did this challenge to begin with the most success that I had was from going and continuing the vegan challenge for three weeks, completely vegan, after which point it seemed like there was something in my metabolism that had changed. So what I'm gonna do is try to combine a lot of different efforts that I've learned into one training plan, plus I'm going to finally add exercise, which is something that I've never really incorporated into my own personal health journey. I just kind of have been winging it, winging it, if you can understand what I just said over the noise, winging it. It's like one of those words like rural. It doesn't quite sound right sometimes when I'm saying it. Anyway, I'm winging it and uh, I'm going to be incorporating some of the fasting techniques in addition to my mostly vegan plan with the occasional chocolate and sweet um, that has no super impactful um, use of animal products. In other words, if it didn't take a life 
then I might consider it depending on the circumstances. So I hope you've been following along so far on this segment. I covered a lot of ground during my first seven days of this vegan challenge. And I mean that in a lot of ways. If you watched this whole segment, you saw all kinds of interesting things that you probably never thought you would see, um, or maybe you did. This whole process has to do with wellness and conservation. For anyone who's following along, please continue to do so. Don't forget to share on your own social channels. I don't have currently a Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever any of these things are called um, at this point. And uh, so I'm kind of relying on your assistance if you wanna help this channel to grow. If you don't, that's fine with me, it doesn't matter. I'm mostly just sharing this so that friends and family along the way can understand what it is to regain our health and to turn away from addiction in a way that, uh, in a way that's profound, in a way that's sensible, in a way that's repeatable, and in a way that we can adhere to. So this isn't something that's super strict. It's just a matter of turning our way around and not facing in the same direction as addiction might have previously led us towards. So a lot of times the hardest part is that we surround ourselves with enablers and we continue to accept things the way they are, the way that our fathers taught us. And uh, really what we're at a point here, what we're at in this world here is a point. We're at a point where it seems like a turning point, right? There are so many different incidents happening globally and a lot of people are panicking and prepping and the prepping is great. Um, also, it would behoove us to prep ourselves in place and to prep ourselves in a way where we know that we're capable of accomplishing that which is necessary. So I walked outside today in the garden and uh, the tomato plants have all but withered and it seems like they may be done for the season. I'm not sure, depends on how much sunnier it gets and whether the plants actually froze or went dormant. Um, but we'll find out probably within the next week. I'll keep you posted and whenever I plant, replant the garden, I'll let you know. Anyway, there's a lot, to, a lot of work to be done. And so I don't really want to drone on and on. I just wanted to give you an update. This is a winging it off the cuff seventh day update where I'm telling you that I lost three and a half pounds in one week by completing the seven day vegan challenge. So for anyone who doesn't believe in it, the hardest part is convincing yourself that you can eat out of other things and have fun doing so. There are so many different things to choose from. There are so many alternatives uh, to the foods that we've been eating in the past and they're all amazing. Every experience that we have here together um, and even individually is an amazing experience that as long as we're grateful for it, we can take into consideration what we're doing and whether or not it's helpful, beneficial to ourselves and to others. Um, or we can overlook all of it as if it makes no difference what we're taking and eating and whether or not we're giving thanks in some of the spiritual texts, there are references to take this and eat it. This is my body. Take this and drink from it. This is my blood. And you can take that in a lot of different ways. But the primary example that I take into mind is that what if this was a resource that came from an entity who we knew? And in a lot of ways it is. Because every time we eat a... Texas tradition, like beef-based products, we're taking a life that we can fully become aware of uh, as having originated from an animal. And we can give thanks to that animal 
and be grateful for it. And we can recognize that we don't necessarily need to celebrate in that manner every single time. Anyway, that's enough of that type of information. I just wanted to let you know how easy it is to regain our health. Health is wealth. And until next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff. Thanks for watching.